What's up, everybody? Snowman here, and this is Snowman Sports Corner with a live reaction to Game 1 of the Eastern Conference Finals. And... Damn! I didn't see that coming. 108-83, the final. The Celtics dispose of the Cleveland Cavaliers in Game 1. And the thing I called for Boston to get 106 points, but I also called for Cleveland to get 100 but a 25 to 2 run in the first quarter basically put the game out of reach. The Cavaliers got to within 14 at the end of 3, but that's as close as they get. They they lose the Cavaliers do by 25 points. Some of these numbers look as follows as I'm looking here uh, on the screen in front of me. 36% shooting for the Cleveland Cavaliers, and 4 for 26, you heard right, 4 for 26 from three-point land. LeBron James, uh, excuse me, check that, Kevin Love led them with 17 points, LeBron James was next with 15, Rodney Hood with 11, and Jordan Clarkson with 10, but those those points came off the bench. Ben Suter, the checking out the live reaction, what's up, Ben? But as I said, a 25-2 run to basically close the first quarter gave the Celtics an 18-point lead, and that was basically that. For the Celtics, they were led by Jalen Brown, who had 23 points. Al Horford had 20. Had 20. Marcus Morris had 21. Jason Tatum had 16. Those were the four in double figures. The Celtics shoot 51.2% from the field. They hit 11, count them, 11 three-point field goals. And they basically cruised to the win. I didn't think it would be, I really didn't think it would be that bad. I really didn't. What triggered, I had a question, and Michael Hogue, my good friend, posed the question and the question that he posed was what triggered the 25 to 2 run for the seas and i'm getting an answer for him i'm getting an answer for him right now as it was 11 to 7 with 724 left in the first quarter on a uh, layup by al horford which later spurned went to a timeout a tv timeout it was a turnaround. Here's your answer, Mike. It was a turnaround shot by Jalen Brown with 6:54 remaining in the first quarter. That made it uh, 13 to seven. Another basket made it 15 to seven. Kevin Love hit two free throws that made the score. I beg your pardon. He did not make. He did not make the free throws. When Jalen Brown hit the shot that made it 13 to seven, that triggered the run. And the Celtics were on their way. And the final was 108 to 83. Game two set for Tuesday night at 8:30 at the TD Garden in Boston. All right, check us out here on uh, Facebook Live. Also check us out on uh, YouTube. Search Arena Sports Net. Look for the list of Snowman Sports Corner. Tomorrow, I will have a react. I'll have a more detailed reaction to this game on uh, Snowman in the Morning. We kick off at 9 a.m. Eastern. Uh, our express, uh, our express ride through Snowman in the Morning. And Tuesday, Chris Dietz will join me to talk uh, Boston Celtics. This game one, a preview for game two. I'll have that as well. And also, we'll talk. Why isn't Brad Stevens being considered? For Coach of the Year. That and a lot more this week on Snowman in the Morning. Tomorrow we'll break down this game, talk a little baseball with Trey Snide at 10 after the hour, and then I'll let y'all know a few surprises that I have in store for Snowman in the Morning. Till then, this has been Snowman Sports Corner live here on Facebook. Check us out, arenasportsnet.com slash snowman sports corner, and that's corner with a K. Till then, 